to get the Panthers to move some operations across the border. Good afternoon, Georgia Ree. Good afternoon. That's absolutely right. I am here at Fountain Park in Rock Hill, where less than an hour ago, hundreds of people filled this green space to witness Governor Henry McMaster put his signature on that legislation. Now, that piece of legislation is necessary in order for the Carolina Panthers to relocate across state lines. Now, the Panthers is planning to relocate its headquarters here to York County and build practice in medical facilities and foster some of those accompanying businesses to support the Panthers presence here in the state. Now, in return, the state is offering about 100 15 million dollars in tax credits for the Panthers relocation. Now several lawmakers from the upstate actually opposed this bill and were not on board with it and there were several questions concerning the Panthers future in the upstate. But Carolina Panthers owner David Tepper had a few words and a reminder for residents in Spartanburg. It doesn't mean by the way that we're going to forget our friends in Spartanburg either. We will be present in Spartanburg for a long time. Just want to tell one way or another, whether it's fan fests or whatever, we're going to be over there too. We're not going to forget people who have been our friends and our fans. The Carolina Panthers is planning to break ground on those facilities in 2020 with the plan of them moving in by 2022. Now, this plan also calls for a $40 million interchange that will be built along I-77 to accommodate that extra traffic that's expected to come with the Carolina Panthers here in York County. Now, coming up in the news tonight, I'll go a little closer and take a closer look into the bill as far as what the Panthers will have to offer in return for the state to give those tax breaks, as well as how residents here in Rock Hill are reacting to the big news. Live in Rock Hill, Georgia Godfrey, 7 News. All right.